North Korea's provocative test, the first of its kind since September, shows Kim Jong-un has reignited his ambitious weapons program. U.S., South Korean and Japanese military officials say today's launch was of an intercontinental ballistic missile, the most powerful rocket the rogue nation has, one capable of entering space and striking its enemies from thousands of miles away. Sources say it flew east off the North Korean coast and was in the air for about 50 minutes. It traveled about 620 miles, reaching a higher altitude than Kim Jong-un's major ICBM test in July, and splashed down inside Japan's exclusive economic zone, the waters off Japan's coasts where it has the right to fish and explore. They're reminding the United States, they're reminding Japan uh, that they have been uh, quite earnest in increasing the range and the capabilities and characteristics of their missile force. Kim's regime has tested missiles this year at a furious pace. This makes 23 missiles launched in 16 tests since February. But the North Koreans had been fairly quiet recently, not testing a missile in more than two months. So why now? This could be a reaction to political events like being put on the U.S. Uh, list of terror sponsors or other recent condemnations of North Korea. It could be shaping ahead of the Winter Olympics in South Korea this winter. Um, probably more likely it's just part of North Korea's ongoing missile uh, program and their development of missiles that ultimately will be able to strike North America. Despite repeated pressure from the president and a recent diplomatic mission by China, Kim Jong-un has made it clear he is not backing down. Instead, the North Koreans have been accelerating every aspect of their weapons programs, testing a massive hydrogen bomb in September, fine-tuning their rocket fuels and engines, and honing their targeting and guidance systems. The U.S. believes Kim and his generals could be able to place a miniaturized warhead on top of a missile sometime next year. And experts say they're just a couple of steps away from demonstrating a full-fledged capability to hit the continental U.S. with a nuclear-tipped missile.